Owl, you marry me. And I <laughs> did he bend his knee? And, yeah, he did. Oh, oh I didn't wow. hear. I, did, yeah, I yeah, never yeah, asked. He did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. But, um, you said you'd think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I should have, just because that's the way he would have made it. <laughs> but, no, I was... I said, yeah, right away, and then we came back down to their house, and there were cars. She's like, oh, yeah, there's a few fam There's some family over. I was like, how much family do you have? Like, what the, the heck? There's so many people. We go he inside. Really, he really knew you were going to say yes, right? Mm -hmm. he, yeah. Wasn't yeah. Open. <laughs> he was open. Yeah, I guess he was pretty confident. He read me well. Can I tell a little story, another golf thing with, with Ann was uh, – their senior year, no, his senior year, yeah, his, senior. his senior year, he wanted to do something special like all the kids do, you know, for the ride. So what he did is he borrowed uh, Bryce Singles golf cart. It's a friend of Nate's, and on the back of it, on the corner, in the back corner, he put an American flag and he fastened a a uh, on one corner and he fastened a Marine flag on the other corner. He then took bungee cords and fashioned a and, and, and secured a, a boombox to the front. Playing the Marine Corps. Playing the Marine Corps him. him. And all the kids that from their group, which was huge, had all agreed to go down in front of Mike Davison's house, which is as you know, is absolutely beautiful, mm -hmm. to have pictures taken. And I, we missed it by it because they've got pictures taken somewhere else too. I, so we missed it by like a second. But apparently as everybody was getting their pictures taken, all of a sudden they heard this loud noise of Marine Corps him. <laughs> as that came in on the golf cart with Ann on it with the blanket over and like two wheels and I guess did like a, like a power turn in the front lawn and jumped out and was dancing around and he had his tux on and Ann had her gown on. Made quite an appearance. And, <laughs> and then after all the pictures were taken, all the kids got into their special vehicles. You know, like some had sports cars, some had convertibles. And, and Zach led them from Main Street Hornell all the way to the country club. And he was the first car, and everybody had to follow him behind him. Of course, there's probably still people in Hornell, uh, you know, bad mouthing for holding him up for so long. <laughs> and he led the procession to the country club. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. With he he had <laughs> such a way of making every occasion special. Mm -hmm. He really did. Right. I mean, from when he was little to till the end. And that's probably the hardest thing that we're going to have the next few months with the holidays coming up. Mm hmm well, I told Ann just today, uh, one thing I miss is just his entrances into the house. Well, they from were the always, sounds of it, that, it, it was, every, it it was, was grand it was, it was glorious. glorious. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, another thing is just before he, I think the last time he was home, he, uh, and you understand, <laughs> Zach was six feet tall. Three, six foot three. Six foot three, probably almost 200 pounds. And, and he's much bigger than I am now, and we just have a queen-size bed. And I just remember him running through the, um, running up the stairs, across the bedroom, and diving on our bed, which is longer than between the two of us. Between <laughs> and, 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 and said that he was going to sleep between us tonight because it was his last night there, and he was going to sleep with Sadie when he was and little. And we said, well, and what about we your wife? The room. <laughs> <laughs> and then we couldn't get him out of the room. We couldn't know. And he goes, please, mommy and dad, I just want to sleep with you. And uh, he was huge, and, and and he's a lug. And, and just to get him out of the bed, I just was so afraid it was going to break. But I, there's just so many moments like that that are so funny. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank God we have them. Mm -hmm. And I made, and I told Kim before. I said, you know, it's it's too bad the way things work. That you know, he was killed probably within the first four days of really combat. That he was there he fighting. Was, I mean, he was mm -hmm. there for he like was there 40, for forty days. But say the first thirty-six days, they were training, and he'd gotten a new rifle, and they were getting acclimated to to be the country. And then the, he called us, which would be Tuesday, which would be Wednesday for him, and said, we're heading out can't tell you much more than that so we we say he got to wherever Wednesday and was killed Sunday but the one thing that everybody told us and what this kind of what I'm trying to get around to is is how funny he was and how everybody enjoyed having him around and how even when he was what they call the boot which is like a, a new marine which typically are, are looked down upon mm -hmm. he was well respected Everybody loved him. He did everything he could, and he made everybody laugh and feel so good. And then everybody that you talk to just talks about how much you made him laugh. And I thought with all the hell that they had to see for the six months they were there, wouldn't it have been nice, even if this still had to happen, if it could have been a little later mm -hmm. so that they had somebody to maybe cheer them up during the, their worst days. Here was the kid that everybody made clear to us, made them feel better about a lot of things. They lost him immediately, and they didn't have him to, mm -hmm. you know, they you know, they could use the kid like him when he was killed, and unfortunately. 
Well, thank you so much for joining me. I wish we had another another half hour. Uh, and we do have our post office is now named. Yes, the Zachary Smith Post Office. Post Zachary Smith Post Office. And I think it will be on the building sometime in October. Very good. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me, Chris and Kim Smith and Andy Smith. And uh, God bless you, and, uh, and I know you guys know the community is still supporting you, and um, uh, we, I hope and pray you guys hang in there, and, and like you said, that maybe that time will come well when, you, when you do have time to really, really grieve and really, really heal. So thanks, thanks for joining me this morning. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you. Thank you. You've been listening to the Amy McManus Show. Have a good day.